What's going on YouTube? This is Mitchell Zink and I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to be painting this Iron Man illustration for you guys. I have an art commission coming up and I really want to familiarize myself with this character before I jump into that particular illustration. Uh, the illustration has several different characters in it. All of those characters I have drawn before. Iron Man is the only one that I actually haven't taken the time to draw. Uh, it's not that I don't like Iron Man. Iron Man is a fantastic character. I just never really got around to it. So, looked up a bunch of references, sketched some, inked this one, and now I'm going to paint it for you guys. I'm also using a masking fluid technique. I've never done that before either, but I went and got a hold of some Winsor Newton art masking fluid. So that's kind of what you saw me doing there before was masking off. So one thing I found out is if you're going to use this masking fluid, either designate a brush to it or something because it will destroy your brush. I'm very happy that I used a very cheap brush when applying it. Because if I would have destroyed one of my Princeton brushes, I would have been very upset. Um, so, luckily I had the foresight to do that. But, yeah. So, masking fluid, essentially, when you apply it, it dries relatively quickly. And it essentially turns into like a rubber cement, where it just sticks onto the page. And then, after you're done painting whatever, you can peel it off kind of rub it off and then you're you know left with a unpainted section so I just went around the contour of Iron Man so that way when I did this wet on wet technique um, the water didn't spill into the character at all and he was preserved um, doing this I I'm not totally sure why this happened but the ink that I used to ink Iron Man is kind of a carbon based ink and it smudged a little bit in a couple of different spots which I find is a little weird because this is the same type of ink that I use for when I do my Copic markers and I've never really had this issue before I let it dry for a couple of hours and hit it with an air dryer and it still smudged a little bit it smudged a little bit in the hand and it smudged a little bit in, in the chest area so that's something that I'm going to definitely have to pay attention to if I ever do this later on with that particular type of ink. I was using a dip pen with a G nib, mainly because I wanted to have very thin line art. But next time I might try it with a micron and that'd probably do better, but we'll see. So yeah. I really want to thank everybody who went and took the time to watch my rat catcher video. I got a lot of really positive feedback and a lot of tips and stuff that you guys were telling me. And uh, I'm very, very excited at the reaction that you guys have had for the rat catcher. I, I'm just, I'm just blown away by the, by this, by how much you guys have liked it. Um, I am totally committed to putting out chapter two. I really wish I could give you guys a timeline on when that's going to happen. I have started the illustrations for it, but due to outside forces, I, it's kind of hard for me to tell exactly how much time I'll be able to dedicate to those illustrations so hopefully I'll be able to find a lot of time and be able to crank those out relatively quickly so that way I can get rat catcher chapter 2 to you because it is going to be very exciting I'm super pumped I'm very very pumped yeah I don't have a whole lot to say in this episode so in a little bit here I'll just let the music play and I hope you guys will enjoy the Iron Man but yeah so yeah, masking fluid. Um, I'm using whole bean 
watercolors. I really like these. I'm pretty sure I said this before, but these pro professional watercolors really stand out among student grade. I've tried a couple of different student grade watercolors and I haven't really liked them. Um, I always thought that they felt like kind of chalky almost, if that makes sense. And they didn't really blend together or smooth out. Whereas with these artist grade, you can reactivate the pigment really, really easy. And that really helps with blending colors together and and stuff like that. So I, I'm very, very happy with these watercolors that I've purchased. But yeah, I'm just going to let the music play here for you guys. And I hope that you like the illustration. Let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye.